Welcome to Kingdom Reality, your gateway to deep insights into the truths and realities of God's kingdom. Dive deep into the teachings of esteemed teachers of God's Word as they illuminate the mysteries of Scripture, offering priceless wisdom and revelations. Our channel serves as a beacon of enlightenment, guiding seekers on a transformative journey towards understanding the essence of divine truth and purpose. Join us as we explore the depths of spiritual reality and embark on a quest for genuine understanding and spiritual growth, revealing kingdom realities. Listen to this transformative prayer charge. Apostle Michael Orokpo shares the keys to building a solid foundation through prayers and the Word. Experience the power of unified prayer to fortify your spiritual life. Discover the importance of grounding your faith in the Word of God. Learn how personal, heartfelt prayer builds a strong foundation. Build a solid spiritual foundation that can withstand any storm. Apostle Michael Orokpo, guiding you to spiritual strength through prayer and the Word. In Jesus' precious name. Hallelujah. Go ahead and pray in the Spirit. Can we pray in the spirit? Come on, brothers and sisters. Zekete kapate, Pantoria, Paros, 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 Asese, Ferrarus, Siata, Paragato, Ruatalakania, Epanasania, Ruatani, Ruatapina, Epanasalia, Epaleta, Epaleta, Epalacatelia. Come on, yes, Pacapato, Sosseria, Sabaka, 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 Saba
in the name of Jesus please hear me you know I said something on Sunday I didn't know where I came from when it came out of my spirit even me I took caution I said what have you said and when I realized it it was true and it is true that why God is sending people to save wicked men to save people who are committed to the service of Satan because of his love these same people are there killing others <laughs> have you not seen witches that have killed many Christians meanwhile why God is busy trying to to, to, to send message of salvation to these wicked men to these witches so that they are saved they are killing Christians and we are wondering Lord why don't you just kill these ones or allow them to die and in that same statement I made I said because it's your decision to be a victim or not because God wants every soul saved so while it's on the business of saving soul the wicked man can still mess somebody else up this is why you must say it is not me that will die it is not me that will be cut off so if you are a victim it's your choice we have too much advantage in this kingdom why he said it's an abomination when princes are trekking white beggars are riding on horses the reason is because we are not taking advantage of the things made available to us he said God has given us all things he's no longer giving us anything he has given us all things that pertain to life and godliness he said but it is through the knowledge so any means that excavates knowledge it becomes your responsibility to access those things and one of it is prayer when he was preaching he said when you pray the glory increases so every one of us here carries glory how come some of us are struggling when israel came out of egypt all they needed was the glory of god every nation that withstood them went down their clothes did not tear their shoes did not grow weary food met them in the wilderness so a christian who is sick a christian who is frustrated could that mean that the measure of glory is not enough so why then will you not pray if prayer provokes glory he said as he prayed the fashion of his countenance was altered his raiment began to glister as he prayed for we all with open faces the glory of the lord we are changed No glory will be left inside. 
Christ. The river flows. We all, with open faces, transfigurations of the Spirit, it's the day that believe out of their bellies shall flow rivers. I refuse a cup. I refuse a bucket. I refuse one street. I refuse two streets. Rivers of living water. Rivers of inspiration. Rivers of favor. Rivers of power. Rivers of speed. Rivers of glory. Aquari. Baraka. Zekayaga. Baraka. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Hear me, brothers and sisters. See, all this Christianity of looking for people to help you, you will be messed up. Oh. Go and read the Bible. From Genesis to Revelation, those who took their generation, they conquered on the altar. This Christianity of carrying a face of pity, hoping that somebody will help you, and you turn yourself to a professional beggar, better wake up from it. We have too many advantages to live a frustrated and defeated life. Too many advantages, but we waste, we know how to use everything, except the ones God gave us. Everybody can use their phones. They can use their mirror. They can use their car. But the one that is divine, that's the ones we neglect. Imagine the wealth that the Lord excavated tonight. He said, prayer provokes inspiration. Prayer generates clarity. How can a Christian be confused? When he came to Jesus, he said, he himself knew what he should do. It wasn't read. It was caught. Because when a man prays, he knows. But more than 90% of the Christians you meet, their major crisis is that they are confused. That means confusion is not the problem. Prayerlessness is the problem. Because if we were to pray, we will see. In Jeremiah 33 verse 3, say, ask of me. He say, I will answer. But I don't only answer. He say, I will show you great and mighty things that you know not of. He said, prayer is a system of intervention. My God. Does that mean any circumstance I find myself? Intervention does not depend on God. It depends on me. Acts chapter 25, 16, 25. He said they were kept in prison. He said when it was midnight, they prayed. So they were the ones who scheduled their intervention. I wish they prayed before they went to prison. Maybe because it was going to be a testimony. Because later the Bible said Paul and Barnabas were men that had said their lives for the gospel. Probably that is why. So you can do your own intervention. When it was midnight, they prayed, they sang praises, and an angel descended. How come you have been in the pit for 10 years? It means something is wrong with your prayer altar. Can we pray for one more minute? Can we pray for one more minute? Heaven is waiting for the one that will pray. He said, when Herod took James and slew him, saw that he had the Jews, and he went for peace, but the thought was up. If he went, people do receive. He said, prayer was made. Prayer. Prayer was put. That's 
is prayer. That is prayer. It's a system of divine intervention. Master, master. Oh, if you will pray, it says in Second Chronicles seven fourteen, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, it says I will. I will hear and I will come down and deliver them. I will come down. Exodus 3 verse 7. I have heard the cry of my people by reason of their taskmaster. That is why I am called. Man generates intervention through prayer. And when God comes, the right hand of power is made manifest. Behold, I will strike from my right hand and strike it with all my signs and my wonders. In Acts chapter 4, the apostles were flawed. They were beaten. The Bible said they didn't go to the governor. They didn't go to anybody. They went to their own company and they lifted up their voices. When they finished praying, they said the place where they were was shaken. Elelekaya, Zakata, Barakatua. For a glorious destiny god has made available if you succeed or you fail is your choice he said according as his divine power he has given unto all of us all things that pertain to life and godliness he said but it is through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and virtue what you excavate is what determines what the outcome of your life will be this is why the word is taught don't hear it and not they say don't be like the forgetful hearer who beholds and goes away and forget what manner of man he was he said but be like them who after beholding the perfect law of liberty they continue to do from today the glory on your life will be on the increase and just like on the life of the Israelites a swallowed up all adversary and every contention from today everything the devil throws against you that glory swallows it up we will visit this message again so what God made available for more than five million people you can generate it on your own this is the difference between the New Testament sent and the Old Testament they had to wait for a prophet to grow encounter God before the Shekinah will appear but Jesus throws into the mountain and the Bible said as he prays he said the fashion of his countenance was altered his raiment glistered and he said a cloud descended from heaven and there appeared therein Moses and Elijah I prophesy over you from today the glory of God on your life swallows up everything the devil throws at you hear me confusion ends from tonight ask of me I will answer and I will show you great and mighty things that you know not of every area of your life where you need clarity by the power of the revelation of the word 
I decree clarity and direction in the name of Jesus. A Christian is a wonder. We have not just understood Christianity. We are still doing religion. That's why we are victims. The day we wake up to our heritage in God, the world will marvel. They will gather to watch us manifest. And before you leave this realm, that will be your testimony. I said, that will be your testimony. Somebody give the Lord a thunderous shout of glory. celebrate this servant of God what a grace my oh my pastor Sonny is a classical teacher of the word of God when he was teaching I told myself I wish I could teach like this precept upon precept lines upon lines it's as in a child can pick this Thing he has taught today as a manual and you will see that child in six months it will be a wonder just this message will change your life for i will preach the same message sorry i will plagiarize you <laughs> my god you know when he was teaching on the word of god i was i was writing i got an inspiration i migrated wrote another sermon came back and was copying from my wife what did he say my God, can we give God a big hand clap? Celebrate God's servant, Pastor Sunday Owina. So you will not hide again. Any topic that we, we need revelation on, we will give you three days ahead. Go and study and come and teach. advise you go back home if you have if you have not written everything sit down listen to the message and write it don't just listen no. there are messages we tell you listen again and again write this one because this thing will change your life the things is shared on the word alone if you pray them pick one every day and pray them your life will skyrocket just the things is shared on the word you pick one pray it one hour the next day pick did you hear what he said he said the word is an instrument of navigation it's a compass the way a pilot requires a compass to get that means if you will get to destination the word is the key you just carry the word and say lord by your word i walk in your precept and i walk under your guidance i arrive at my destination and you pray that one one day you come the next day you pick the next one he said the word is the food of the human spirit lord nothing can break me for i am fed by the word and then you pray it and pray you see stamina see this is what i was watching a video unfortunate incident that took place with the believers love world nation how the auditorium was raised down 
and a conference was ongoing when they told pastor chris there was no time to leave the conference to go and see what happened <laughs> you, you you don't understand stamina that's a multi-million dollar infrastructure if you are the one your heart will be caught you will run what happened to the screens is what happened to the city you because everywhere you spent money it will be like a dagger conference continued normal and god's servant stood up and said don't be troubled we will build a better one <laughs> my god who talks like that and they are not trying to put off a show you will see it stamina not a minute of 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 feeling bad and start saying god why god where are you god is in heaven we are here to take charge and we will build another one by that same power if you don't have stamina only men will kill you only men there are wars that the bible call that they are like daggers men shoot them into the heart of people do you know what how we can some people want to say something they want it to hurt you for one year they will coin phrases together coin words together and make one sentence that will make you not to sleep for two months if you don't have strength you will faint there are people who gang up and their job is to paint you black and they will be consistent for five years the reason it will not affect your spirit is because you are fortified you carry the word sometimes as you are studying the word it hits your spirit leave the bible go and pray it for thou O lord that is shield for me my glory they lift her up of my head and as you are praying as you are praying as you are praying the word will literally become a shield you will feel it when they throw arrows it will hit it and go down such are the oracles that we receive here tonight i say i can't say anything because if i want to say anything i will repeat everything he has said what a word he said the word is the bringer of faith so nobody lacks faith we lack the word the moment the word comes faith comes he said the word is the hope of a believer in this life and in the life to come and he showed scriptures they said the word sanctifies Any, anybody can live pure if you will allow the word enter you all this oh i can't help it masturbation uh, pornography choke yourself with the word you will look for the pornography you won't know where it went to the word will enter you and severe you set you apart from corruption all the things you are using your will to fight stop even your will is corrupt it's the word the word will set you apart you'll be shocked you will try to remember when was the last time i watched it you will know you have been set apart that's the job of the world it's more accurate than the clinical blade that surgeons use it will cut through corruption and you will stand pure when god looks at you even god won't find any blemish because it's his word that did the job he said the word transform how can a fisherman write books that they are studying today in harvard peter james and john were fishermen but today they are studying the petrine epistle as a phd thesis in harvard what level of transformation is that and you you are here you say you are timid you are not timid you have not eaten eat and see what comes out of you the real version of you will come out he said the word is truth that means the word is our reality so anything you don't see in the world that is happening around you is a mirage you know this kind of you are driving and you see what ahead of you on the quota that water does not exist it's a mirage anything that is not in the world is not your reality you may be experiencing it is not your reality when you deal with the world after a while that thing will vanish the lord bless you
about you. But as I leave this service, my life will change. You know, from now on, as I'm walking, I'll be walking like a man that carries glory. When, when, when I, I don't sense enough of it, I'll go to the room and stay a bit more. So if, if, you, if you look at me and you undermine me, I'll say, wait, I'll come back next week. <laughs> I'll go and stay the glory and come back. If there's any area of lack, wait, don't worry, I'll go back. That's your position from today. Give the Lord a big hand. Have you been touched by the message you just heard and you want to give your life to Jesus or you want to rededicate your life to Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Then say this short prayer. Lord, I admit I am a sinner. I need and want your forgiveness. I accept your death as the penalty for my sin and recognize that your mercy and grace is a gift you offer to me because of your great love, not based on anything I have done. Cleanse me and make me your child. Be faithy receive you into my heart as the Son of God and as Savior and Lord of my life. From now on, help me live for you, with you in control. In your precious name, Amen. Congratulations to you. If you have just said that prayer, you are now a child of God. Look around you for a Bible-believing church and also ask Jesus to direct you to the church where you can continue to serve Him. Consider subscribing to this channel too, so that you'll keep learning the realities of God's kingdom. God bless you.